What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Did I not turn off these gravity pads? I thought I did. Alright, well. Craft walk. Let's just turn all the <laughs> did you see the did you see me move there for a second? That was funny. Because all the grab walks got turned on. Okay, so when we left off in the last episode, we had built our crew quarters. Um, why can I not? Oh, this is actually one of the Death Star doors. I was thinking the uh, interior door mod we were using here. I didn't think about the vents being blocked there. So where could I put them? Actually, I don't really need to, and we could probably just put one in this wall, actually. Uh, let me see. Where's the door? Let's get out of here for a second. Um, sorry, I'm kind of fixing this on the fly. It really wasn't intended to be that way. I was actually just going to let you all know that I'll probably just do the same thing I did last time because our frame rate is just getting really bad. Um, what am I stuck on? I'm stuck on something. Um, so because our frame rate's getting kind of choppy, I figured the best way... I'm getting very turned around here. Where am I going? That's... Okay... I think this... No. I'm looking for a double... There we are. There's the bathroom one. Alright. So... If I were to clear a route... Oh, that's actually perfect. Alright, that's cool. We'll put one right here. And then we'll change this to... Let me see if I can find my conveyor tubes. There they are. Um, don't ask me why the color code is the way that it is as far as um, like why the pipes are light gray and why I didn't keep them a dark gray? I don't know. Oh. Okay. So I need a... I need one of the other more fancy ones. I can remember where I put them. So I need one of these? Yes. Exactly what I need. Okay, cool. Now, we'll go ahead... Try and figure out how this is set up here. There we go. Alright. Oops. One too many. Okay. Uh. Is it this one? And. We'll go ahead and place these as well here. Now we can get rid of these. We can get rid of these. And that. Do it like this. And I don't think this had a purpose as of yet. This was that one side that think we had figured out how that was going to work yet. Oh, that's right. It was different on the other side. The other side doesn't have that catwalk, does it? Oh, no, it does. Hmm. Intriguing. I thought I didn't have that on both sides. There was one walkway I didn't have on both sides. I know that much. Or I could be wrong. Okay, well, let's just leave it as I'm wrong. 
for now then, in light of that, let's move this over. Oops. Well, that's not really that much of a difference, but whatever. Attention to detail and all. Um, let's see. How do we want to proceed? Let's do like that. Conveyor tubes aren't as bad as rotors, but they can still be kind of finicky. Um, and in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to move this over here so that we can still do a wall section or something with this if we decide we want to. It's not necessarily a have to at this point. It's just something that I'm not sure if I want to basically take away the option to do that later. So that one's rigged up. Leaves us a bit of an opening that what we can do uh, is we can do stuff like this where we still have the option to build around this piping if we wanted to make some kind of small area. Uh, which I'm almost thinking about doing but I'm not sure where this all ties together. Okay, this is the bottom of a floor, which means this is the top of the floor. So... This all needs to be fixed. Like, this is not how this should look. I'm slipping. I am slipping. Alright. So the frame rate isn't doing too terrible right now. I was going to cut and and well, I probably should. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and cut this and we'll be back when I've done some more progress and we'll just keep doing little progress updates. All right, I give you the mess hall. Uh oh crap, I messed up on my lighting. How did I manage to do that? Where's my light panels? There we go. I need four more. Um, I will say, kind of made a couple air. Actually, I'm not going to mess with that. They're fine. It's not going to, you're not going to notice that much anyway. Um, I will say, I've been doing stuff like this where i um, working with two sides at the same time in mirror mode and everything. Actually, that shouldn't be a T. This should I say crap because you need this stupid thing where you have to have an open space before you can delete anything and it's really really annoying when you get a whole room like this that per the block setting this room is completely jammed like this is completely full it's two blocks over I'm just gonna cut in through the wall and we're gonna put a curve here and I'm not sure that I'm actually going to do anything with it as far as settings go. I had them all tweaked and everything. Let's see. It's not noticeable. We're not going to mess with it. It is a little dark over here in the, in the kitchen area, but that's mostly just because I couldn't get any lighting blocks over here. As you can see, like, there's no grid anywhere other than, like, out in the hall. Because um, originally I was actually going to do some vending machines, which you can see in my hotbar. Uh, but that didn't end up happening because, well, yeah, I I did it in a one block high room. So as soon as you put lights in, they take up like a whole block. So I couldn't really fit a whole lot. And it was dark enough that I had to do some lighting in here to make it actually visible. Because I probably could remove some of these lights and put like, you know, vending machines on the walls or something. Uh, but it gets kind of really dark. 
Um, so yeah, there's that. Still don't know... Oh, I can put lights in here. Sweet. I was thinking I wasn't going to be able to do any lighting in here. That's awesome. Yay! And there is this. Um, the door frame is off from how we had this set up just because this is technically upside down. And you can't put an upside down door. You can't walk through it. So yeah, mess hall is completo. And it's ventilated. You can see here. Turns green. All nice and ventilated. Um, so yeah, that came from actually doing this room right next to it. Uh, because I had all that piping that we just did in the, the last section that I just basically was, as I was covering up the wall, I'm like, you know, let's just break that block and put this block here. And it fixed everything, which is cool. Also went through and redid this uh, hallway like we talked about when I said this needed to be fixed. It is fixed. Yay. Um, now that goes down... This goes down. Oh, that corner's wrong. We need to fix that. Oh, this is because this is the other side. Got it. Where does this end up going, though? Is this to... Oh, this is to the bathroom. I feel like... I was gonna say, I feel like this door's upside down. Oh, wait, everything's upside down. <sighs> Including this corner as well. I'll have to fix that, too. The vent looks good there. I don't really know why these ended up being, like, pink or purpley. I tried to color them. I mean, I had the right color selected, but it didn't really come through. So that's not completely sold on this. I may end up taking that out just on the principle that it looks really weird. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think if you're okay with that. So then this would go down. Oh, and then that goes that way. Which then leads you into... Okay, all that stuff. This should go up to the hangar. Alright. Just trying to get a feel for where everything is located. And trying to reacclimate myself. Alright, now this side is yet to be completed? Wait, no. No, it's the flooring that I didn't complete, I guess. Wait a minute. This should be... Did it... This did work on the other side, right? Okay, good. Phew! But everything's backwards, of course. Lovely. Um... The vent's fine. It's just the appliance and counter sections that are backwards. So you can see that these take up one block because this is what it looks like when it's reversed. When it's reversed, they're like back to back against each other. So I'll have to fix that. I don't feel like doing it right now. I feel like building. Not correcting. We probably ran into similar problems over here, more than likely with the, uh, lockers. Well, oh, the beds. The beds are flipped. Lockers seem okay. Yeah, well, that's fine, I guess. It's just the, just the beds that got flipped around. It is per mod. Like, normal vanilla blocks will work. But per the mod, um the mod may not have, like, a reverse or something. I don't know how all that works. I'm just going off what I know. Okay, so we need to fix this wallway. Wallway? Wallway. Hmm. Wallway. <laughs> Is that a word, I wonder? Okay, that means we're going to have the same problem over here. Alright, so let me cut again. I'm going to uh, work on... What am I going to work on? Where's this? Where's this located? 
Okay, so this is the pathway up to the bathroom. So I'm going to work on fixing this up a little bit. Uh, is this the right color wall? Or is that just the lighting? I think that's just the lighting. I hope that's the right color. Yeah, it looks like it. So I'm going to fix this wall, fix the hallway, and then move towards um, the cryo chambers, I think is going to be the last thing for this episode. So I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, so I think we're about ready to wrap this episode up. By the way, this hallway was the easiest thing in the world to fix. I don't know why I didn't fix it before. Um, if I can find it. It's around here somewhere. There's so many paths. Uh, I think it was this one. So you'll recall before... Is this it? Yes, this is it. So you recall before, about here, you hit like a wall. It looked like the rest of this wall here. This silver color. And then you went down and around, and it looked just derpy. As I was stripping it out, trying to fix it, I realized all I had to do was put a ramp right here. That's all that was necessary. And it connected perfectly to the door. So yeah, that's what I did. Because that's the solution that eluded me for some reason. So... Problem solved! <laughs> Alright. Now, let's take this way just because it's something different. Um, now what we had to work on was the cryo chambers, which actually went by pretty quick. It did not take very long at all. What actually took longer was reconfiguring this elevator room, um, which I have actually mirrored on the other side for once. Yay. So it's over here. This part's not done because I didn't actually finish all the elevator stuff. Um, but the the room itself is actually mirrored. Wait a minute. Where did I put... Oh, that's the difference. Ooh. This is cool, but also something I'll have to take into account. On this side, I put the elevators off to the side, which I actually like way better now that I'm looking at it. But we'll also have to have, like, a button console or something here to run said elevators. Now, with that in mind, the elevators are working over here, so we're going to take a look at this one. But yeah, I'm walking right over these. I don't like that. That's what it was. Okay, I had... Uh, I'll have to do some creative configuring up there to make this work. Because I don't think... I have it built on this side, actually. This side... Yeah, I didn't build the walkway over here on this side. And this one's already out further than it should be, for some reason. Huh. It's one out... Why isn't it one out over here? Oh, I remember. I actually did some tinkering on the other side wall. Yeah. Alright, I remember what I did now. I, I tweaked with this on this side to get it to work. Um, and I didn't on the other side, so that's why... Actually, this will work out perfectly, because this side is actually more... This, <laughs> this side is actually more configured... Configured? Configured. Gosh, I cannot talk today. Um, it's more configurated, because that's going to be a new word soon, um, to do, to actually work with this, um, this build. I probably shouldn't work with it in, in mirror mode, though. And that will work much better, much smoother. I like it. Um, but that's not really what we're talking about. We're talking about cryo chambers. So with that in mind... Did I end up building something over here I didn't mean to build? I guess not. And actually it'll work better over on this side too. Because instead of a corner and then a T, we'll just put a, a T right here. Or a f Yeah, it'll be a T right here that goes this way. And we can knock this whole wall out. That'll work much better actually. So anyways, we'll do that at some point in the next episode maybe. 
I just noticed, why is that wall flipped? It's not... Ugh. Okay, I've got some wall reconfiguring to do. I have it upside down. Darn. Oh well. So, I reconfigured the elevators to where this one just goes up and down. It just opens and closes. Um... And then I just put the third level one here that takes you up to the bridge one, not the officer deck. So then we have a door, and then we have all our cryo tubes. Um, now, there is one thing I'm not sure about, and that's if you look on the default, which of course I have no room to place any blocks here. If you look on the default cryopod, or cryo chamber from Keen, it has a port on the back, so I don't know if cryo chambers need to be oxygenated or if they're self-sustaining and the conveyor plug is for something else. Because if it is, we need to do like um, either the uh, where are they? Either these interior walls that have conveyors built into them, or we'll have to do um, airtight conveyors along the floor or something just so that they have whatever air supply they're they're needing. But these are actually really cool because they're modded cryo chambers, but they actually work now. Um, so you can get in them. There's a couple different versions. The the ones with the frosting or the ice on the I call it frost. It looks like a uh, frosted glass. Um, those you can't actually get into. The empty one you can get into, but the door does not shut. And then the gen the regular cryogenic pod, like these, you can see clearly. And then when you get in them, you're actually in your cryopod. Um, you might notice there's a lot of them, though. Per the beds that we built in the last episode, this should actually only be a 12-man crew. Yeah... So I was building along and I was thinking 12 in a room because of a 12-man crew. And then when I got done, I realized that's actually 24 cryopods on both sides. Or one, uh, 12 on each side. And I was like, oh. So we're just going to leave them here and say it's for prisoner transport. Extra people you pick up. Civilians. Something. I don't know. It just... I, don't, I had the room, so I put them in there. So yeah. Cryo chamber's done. Mess hall's done. Both mess halls are done, actually. Other than configuring. Uh, so I'm pretty sure the last thing that we're going to work on in the next episode is going to be thrusters, which I think I'm going to make one giant room that's actually just going to wrap around and be open. Uh, that would be the easiest solution. So we're going to make the thruster chamber. Uh, we already have the reactor chamber, so we just need the thruster room. And that might take us a full episode. If it does not, we'll work on detailing a little bit. Well, no, we should actually do thruster room and then weapons room up at the front of the nose. Then we'll do hull and then detail. Not necessarily that those are all in singular episodes. We might do more than one in each episode. We'll try and do thrusters and weapons in the next one. I just don't know how long that'll take. Um, weapon controls or whatever. Uh, and then... Hull will more than likely be a full episode. If not more than one, actually. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to wrap things up here for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.